What's up everybody and welcome back to another five man farm. Today we are located in Northern Stranglethorn. We are located right here in the far southeastern portion and we are located in the ruins of Zalmamwe, if that is how you say that word. We are actually after one mob in particular, these Skull Splitter Witch Doctors, because they have a 10% chance to drop Wild Vine, which is a crafting material that is used to craft classic transmog. There's a whole lot of tailoring and blacksmithing, but of course, almost all of the professions use it in some capacity. So it has a 1.8k region market, which is pretty awesome. So we bring out a group of five people here. And we don't actually put up markers, we just kind of fly around and kill all of the trolls because you can't really hyper spawn the witch doctors without killing the other trolls as well. And that is perfectly okay because because we're in Stranglethorn, Stranglethorn, I always say it wrong. <laughs> because we're in Stranglethorn, you have a chance to get the Razashi Hatchling, you have a chance to get the Hyacinth Macaw, and you have a chance to get the First Mate Hat. So all of those combined, this is a great, great farm. It's one of those ones where you can combine transmog, material, and a pet, which are probably my favorite farms, to be honest. And this one is very, very relaxing because you just kind of run this circuit here. You come up, you kill these guys, and you just fly in a big loop, as does everybody else. And when someone is up, you kill the, the troll, right? So you... You just kind of loot as you go so it's it's a really really simple farm you can get some really really great stuff um, I like it because you don't really have to keep time I know there are some people who will say that if you actually set up markers and you keep time it's better here but this is just one of those farms where if I need a relaxing farm this is what I come do so we actually we did this a couple days ago and our group ended up with between 45 to 105 K in an hour so the person with the lowest probably they didn't end up with a whole lot of wild vine whereas the person at the top the 105k they got quite a bit of wild vine and they also ended up getting i believe the rizashi hatchling but you're i've done this quite a few times and so we always tend to average anywhere between 15 and 25 wild vine per hour which is pretty nice it will take you a little bit of time to sell because despite it being in demand as far as crafting goes, it is an expensive thing to buy. So it, it will take a while to sell, but it, it's very nice when it does sell. And it does sell because like I said, it is in demand as far as crafting goes. So come out here. I, I do recommend this farm. This is one of my favorite ones to come to. I, I think I say that about every single one of them, but I really do like this farm. I would like to do it a little bit more than I have in the past, but that's it. I hope you guys come out here. I actually do a lot of open world farms on my stream, so if you're interested in joining us and you are on the US side, then you are more than welcome to come join me on my Twitch channel. It's under the same name, Seathrift. And if not, then that's it, guys. I hope you enjoy, or I hope you enjoy the video. Um, and if you did, please consider subscribing to the channel or hitting that bell button for alerts on all new content. And I will see you all in the next one. Thanks, guys.